welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Teresa I'm a content creator based in Ilorin Kwara State Nigeria so if you love what you see already consider subscribing to this channel just click on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notification that will notify you whenever I post a new content and to my returnees thank you guys for coming back to watch my video I really appreciate um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comments and also share i will really appreciate so today we'll be talking about reasons why you should visit ghana at least once so if you have been contemplating on visiting ghana we have to tell you that yeah you should go ahead because there are a lot and a lot of places for you to visit whenever you find yourself in Ghana. Now I'm not even I'm not even joking, right? Although I've not been to Ghana, but I'm planning to soonest, yeah. But from the things I watch or the things I've read about Ghana, I'm very sure Ghana is such a lovely place for you to visit, especially with their weather conditions and the fact that Ghanaians are friendly people. So even if you are there, you won't feel like a total stranger. Yeah, you feel like a total stranger. You just feel like you are. You just feel a mom. You feel like you're in the midst of people you know already. Perched on the edge of West Africa and a diverse and bustling nation, with an international community and a fast-growing economy, Ghana offers a perfect gateway to the continent. There are many reasons to visit and receive an aquaba, which is welcome from the locals. And in this video. I'll be sharing some of the reasons why you should, you should visit Ghana at least once. So, there are many reasons for you to visit Ghana and in this video, I'll be sharing with us some of the reasons why you should visit Ghana if you have been thinking of visiting Ghana and you are not yet sure. So, the first on my list is Independence Pioneer. So, Ghana was the first uh, country in Sub-Saharan to gain independence in 1957 which made them a republic under the pan-africanist Kwame who was also the first president so after this other nations too they follow suit and they look up to ghana for inspiration on how to bring their tribes and everybody together so i love to learn more about the history of ghana whenever you visit ghana just make sure you visit their national museum of ghana which is located in Accra. Number two is Fort and Kasu. So whenever you find yourself in Ghana, just know that there are a lot of historical Fort and Kasu that you find in Ghana more than other African they range nations. from the UNESCO World Heritage of Cape Coast Kasu. And so on like my list is coast. So Ghana's coastline is immense and really different vibes for different types. So the next on my list is the Volta. Region. Mountainous Eastern Region, a breath of fresh, low-lying nature of most of the country. What, what I have next year is Three Points. So Cape Three Points is located at Ghana Southern. It's actually one of the country most stunning beaches. Three Points is a refuge for all those seeking peace and serenity. So if there are some places I did not mention in this video, please let me know down there in the comment section so we can at least... Um, it can serve as a guide for those that are yet to visit Ghana or if you are a Ghanaian and you know much about some places I did not mention in this video do well to drop it down there in the comment section we will appreciate that and of course if there are other video ideas you love me to talk about on my channel let me know down there and if there are any place you would love to see in Nigeria specifically in Ilorin because that is where I am based right now in Ilorin Kwara State let me know down there in the comment section and if you've watched this part and you're ready to subscribe just click on that subscribe button, turn on post notification, like, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. So today, stay safe and remain blessed and fabulous. So today, bye-bye.